I'm Captain Jay Hardy of the Newport News Police Department. Today I stand among silhouettes representing the victims of domestic violence in our community. They each have a story. But today, you will hear from a survivor of domestic violence. They'll share their story as a hope to empower other individuals affected by domestic violence. My name is Anika Daniel and I'm a survivor of domestic violence. When I began my relationship, it was basically a normal relationship, and I noticed as time went on that um, I was being called um, a name other than my name. I noticed that uh, I began to feel depressed and isolated from my friends and co-workers. Um, one of the biggest things that happened um, in the beginning of the relationship was once I became pregnant, I um, began to go to my doctor's appointments regularly like I was supposed to, but my doctor informed me that I had contracted chlamydia. So I confronted uh, my ex about uh, that uh, diagnosis and he immediately flew off the handle and put a gun to my head and turned that around as if I had been the one who stepped out of the relationship and of course I knew that I hadn't done anything of that nature. So he put a gun to my head and he threw me out of the house at that time. Um, being that I was pregnant, unfortunately I did decide to stay in that relationship which was a big mistake. Many of us believe that uh, once we have children or if we're pregnant we want to stay in the relationship because um, kids are best in a household with two parents. If those parents um, are uh, abusing one another, that's never good. That's never good. Although kids may not understand what's going on, they can sense uneasiness. They can sense when something is off within the home. Um, I uh, One of the uh, things that I believe are most important in order to really get the courage to leave an unhealthy relationship is a support system. Um, when I was actually ready to leave my relationship, I was introduced to an organization called Transitions Family Violence Services. Uh, Transitions Family Violence Services uh, taught me a lot. I began to share my story, which is probably one of the most therapeutic things that I uh, do then and continue to do today. Um, I've met several, several hundred people that um, have also experienced domestic violence and it's not just women, it's not just men, it's children of all ages, all socioeconomic backgrounds. Um, so, and a lot of what we have in common is that um, we all isolated ourselves. You know, we, we became depressed, we became someone that our families didn't recognize. So, if you have a co-worker, if you have a friend, a neighbor, and even a child, like if a child is in class and they begin to isolate themselves, these are the things when you can say, hmm, something's off. Let me just talk to the person. Be an ear for them. You know, a lot of times we don't talk because we feel as though we're being judged. You know, there's a lot of shame when it comes to domestic violence. There's embarrassment. You know, we don't want to tell what's going on because then people will look at us like, oh, well, she or he is not as perfect as they portray on Facebook. You know, a lot of times, you know, we're living a life to, for others. That's basically the easiest way I can say we're living a life for others. And that's not the way to live. One of, one of the most important things when it's when you really find the courage to leave is to get a support system. A support system is one of the most important things you can do. Some the people that you can trust, people that care about you and your welfare. Another thing that I do now is to attend therapy. I go every week and my therapist helps me to deal with my triggers that I sometimes experience with domestic violence. She uh, provides me with coping skills and mechanisms that help me to cope with daily life. Sometimes sometimes you experience things and you don't know exactly how to pinpoint how to deal with them. Or even, you know, you could drive past something and that could cause you to think of an experience that you had with your partner. Uh, these are the things that are keys to having a successful transition outside of that relationship. And lastly, one of the um, most important things that I want to relay is that um, if you are in a domestic violence relationship, 
you're not alone. It's nothing to be ashamed of. There is help out there. Uh, please reach out to others. You can get help. I commit to believing in you. I commit to understanding that all, we all are impacted by domestic violence. I commit to disrupting the silence about violence. I commit to being an advocate to end domestic violence.